My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at a sneak peek of what the Adobe Connect team has been working on that may show up in a future release of Adobe Connect. Last year, we launched Adobe Connect 10 with a brand new HTML client for participants that supported every pod inside of Adobe Connect, including file share, polls, notes, attendee lists, the webcam view, web links, and more. The share pod, though, was limited to only screen sharing. And while many web conferencing products only support screen sharing, we knew our customers would expect the full experience they get with our desktop application. Let's take a look at the progress the team has been making. We'll start with one of the most common activities, sharing a PowerPoint document. Not only are we now able to display the PowerPoint slides to participants natively in both the HTML client and the desktop application, but we've made significant improvements to our conversion engine, adding better support for the PPTX format. We've gone beyond basic support though. For customers used to having Adobe Presenter controls when a deck is unsynchronized, we've added those to the HTML client. This means that I can use the sidebar to do nonlinear navigation, see my speaker notes, and even search through the deck for a specific term. While screen sharing and uploading Microsoft PowerPoint slides are the most common use cases for the SharePod, there's a lot more it can do, and we've been working to make it all available in the HTML client. I can upload and display an Adobe PDF document to the SharePod. The view is synchronized and controlled by the host by default, but if the host chooses to unsynchronize the PDF, participants can navigate through the document using controls that they'll recognize from our desktop application. We've also added the ability in the HTML client for participants to see the annotations made by the host, whether those are on a blank whiteboard or made by marking up any content loaded into a SharePod, including slides, documents, and even video. Speaking of video, we've added support for it in the HTML client. When a host or presenter uploads an MP4 file to the SharePod, it's now something that participants using the HTML client can see. In fact, we've taken the opportunity to improve the experience altogether, giving presenters the ability to hide the play bar for participants if they prefer not to show it. We've also added support for MP3 audio to the HTML client, and we've added a small animation that shows up in the window to indicate that an audio file is being played. Support for all of this content in the SharePod has been extremely important for us to provide in the HTML client, but the team didn't stop there. One of the most unique and most compelling features of Adobe Connect is the ability to load custom apps into a meeting using a SharePod. Our engineers have worked hard to make an HTML version of our software developer kit that will enable developers to create HTML and JavaScript versions of their pods that can be packaged with the desktop versions, meaning that they'll work with participants regardless of which client they're using. We're incredibly excited about these new features. We hope to make them available in an upcoming release of Adobe Connect soon. Stay tuned for more information and subscribe to us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook to learn about the latest updates.